Okay, I asked you who needed to borrow three billion pounds this month. Ian. <laughs> who's, who's Ian again? He's one of our mates. We give it him. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't paid that back, actually. Who right. said he'd give it straight back? He didn't. The interest rate was irresistible to us. <laughs> well, the people moving and say, can I borrow a car and give it straight back? They're not going to give it straight back, are they? Otherwise, what would be the that, point? <laughs> Just keep it. Ian's a liar. <laughs> if we've learned anything tonight, it's don't trust Ian. Ian. <laughs> OK, what have you gone for, Lily and Jonathan? Northern, Northern Rock. Rock. And Rob and David? we got the serious yeah. answer, Northern Rock. The funny answer, Northern Soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Northern Rock is the correct answer. Yes, you get a point. So what allegation did Heather Mills deny? How'd you get on? Her neighbours accused her of stealing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the answer we gave you. What did you, uh, what you go for, Noel and Russell? We've got a couple. Uh, Kick a football into their garden. Feeling oh. <laughs> just one sock off the washing line. <laughs> Joke that we ju uh. we gave to Rob and David. Okay, Lily and Jonathan, what have you got? We put what we believe to be the correct answer: dog murdering, because the neighbour accused of something doing something to murder a dog. And then I remember this story; it was brilliant. She went. To, this is what she said on that bizarre GMTV interview. She then quoted the medical term that the vet had used, and it was something like, he'd had a catastrophic bowel or something, she said. And it, it sounded completely that too is, like she'd is, made it that, up. You're very close to Sorry. exactly the right answer. You do definitely get a, a point for dog murdering. Who is this woman? She's got one leg and kills dogs. She's amazing. <laughs> she, she doesn't kill dogs, but she does have one leg. Have a look at her. They tried to ruin my daughter's birthday party, which I spent ages organised and saying I'd killed the dog next door. Which this was, was in yesterday's rubbish. son, wasn't it? I traced back to the vet, Tim, and he said, what a lot of rubbish. The dog had been ill for a while and died of abdominal catastrophe on Sunday night. <laughs> catastrophe? <laughs> abdominal catastrophe? No, that is. Kicked in the stomach by a wooden foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pointing any fingers and I'm not a vet. Uh, York asked you what was special about his album In Rainbows, your answers. We answered the previous question again. The sock joke we <laughs> gave to David and Rob. OK, it's a good answer. It's not, that wasn't what was special about the Radio Ad album, though. Not the music. John <laughs> Zoe. Oh! <laughs> I don't think it's yes. Radiohead, yeah, no match for you, Lily. <laughs> Lily's very cross about this. She, she went down, they let people name their price, and I'm a good answer, and I said, that's good, isn't it? Because, you know, and, she, and I said, well, and she said, no, it's bad. I said, well, I paid to, that's because you're minted. And then she went off on one about how bad it is. It's just that, you know, it devalues music. It's not a very good precedent to be setting for young people that are trying to get into the music industry. They did make more money off this album than they did off the last one. Uh, what did you put, Rob and David? Um, we put, uh, you could choose your own price. So let's have a look, let's see what Tom York said. The answer is that we released the album on the internet and people could pay what they liked to download it. I hear uh, you're a bit of a tight bastard, Jimmy, so thanks for the 50p. <laughs> a little bit of Tom York for you. Okay, well you both get a point then, well done you. I asked you what song the England rugby team adopted as their anthem. Let's see what you all put. Kenny Rogers, the gambler. <laughs> <laughs> is the correct answer. Well done, you two. That's the one you've got to know when to hold them. Know when, know when to hold, to hold them. them. Wow. Know when to walk away. Know when to crawl. You gotta... Which is actually, coincidentally, that's exactly the rules of rugby, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you've got to know all those things, because otherwise it's a foul. <laughs> Lily and Jonathan, what have you got? We put You Are Beautiful, Christina Aguilera. <laughs> OK, um, what, Noel and Russell probably knew, did you? No Baby in the Bum Bum by Lily Allen. <laughs> I imagine for the next World Cup, that'll be their anthem. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, it's a nice bit of recall there, that gag. Nice gag, works well. But it's not putting points on the board. <laughs> I think we, you'll find that David are... and I are edging ever closer to yeah. my first ever victory on this quiz. We're, mo we're advancing mirthlessly towards victory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mirthlessly. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Nice. OK. You saw the kids of Mitchellbrook uh, Primary. Uh, what news story were they acting out? What did you reckon? We know this as well. This is Jeremy Kyle's show, that dreadful programme, being uh, criticised by a rather splendid judge. Uh, that is absolutely correct. Thank you very <laughs> much. Take anything away from that. <laughs> You've gone for... Yes, Jeremy thing. Kyle bear baiting. Well, that's even them. more correct, if indeed that can be true. But yeah, the judge referred to it as bear baiting. And what have you gone for, Noel and Russell? Jeremy Kyle makes bears dance on telly for money. <laughs> <laughs> I think
think we knew what they meant. You get a point for that. Well done, you. OK, time now to see if you've been paying attention in the cinema this year. We've digitally enhanced these movie stills. All you have to do is tell me what movies they were originally from. They're better now. Have a look at this. Write down what movie it is from. <laughs> I don't see why that's a laughing matter. I could easily have been cast in that film. <laughs> You look great there. You look really masculine. Is that a cape? <laughs> that, that is a cape. Are we going to be friends cape. now? <laughs> going to be cape buddies. OK. What have you got, guys? Uh, 300. They said mirthlessly. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 300. <laughs> Much better. OK, Lily and Jonathan? We also said 300 because that's what it is. OK, Noel and Russell? Well, I initially put 300, then Noel reminded me that we have no chance of winning. <laughs> so I just did a series of zeros, as far as the eye could see. For you his can amusement. Have that. You yeah. can have that, have a point each. That that looks, yeah. You know what that looks like? It looks like they've shot a sort of commercial for men's hair dye, using the 300 as a template, and you've stopped in a battle and said, yeah, I'm a Spartan, but I've still got time to make sure my hair looks psychic black. <laughs> I like the way that my fat neck makes it look like I'm a worm coming out of the... <laughs> Let's have a look, here's the reveal. I, oh. I honestly can't see a difference. That's it's pretty much the same. OK, here's another one. Hello. Oh, yeah. Is that you again now? What do you mean, is that me? Are you what, feeling a bit confused, are we? <laughs> You've got beautiful legs. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. You know what this is? Yeah, we've airbrushed my cock out for... <laughs> ..tasting decent stuff. Who's that small silver man at your feet? <laughs> That's, um, he's a robot that needs a heart. <laughs> OK, have you all got something down? No. No, no, no it's actually getting quite That's quizzy now, because we don't right. actually want the SWATs to win. Right. All right, and unless you're benevolent towards the, the oh, goth oh, yeah. moths again, <laughs> we're the only hope we have of preventing their victory. You're, you're our only hope. <laughs> all right, we're done now. OK, let's have a look at the answers. What have you got? We didn't know, so we put a guess. Bourne ultimatum. You thought that was a, a still from the Bourne <laughs> ultimatum? Could have been. That would be a good fight scene. Could have been. Just a sort of quiet bit by the pond. <laughs> OK, what have you gone for, uh, Lillian? Atonement. 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 And you, oh, Noel oh. Russell, Atonement. Yeah. Well done, boys. It is, in fact, Atonement. Have a look. It's Lovely not creepy. that different. <laughs> <laughs> There's a world of difference, Russell. <laughs> right. Jimmy, we've been here so long, our banana battlements have gone brown. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got a very special guest. When a terrorist attacked Glasgow Airport, this man took him down. He has a very traditional Scottish welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, have a look at this. They can try and come to Britain and they'll try and disrupt us any way they want, but the British people have been under a lot more things than this and we always stand proud. And then if you come to Glasgow, Glasgow doesn't accept us, do you know what I mean? This is Glasgow, you know, so... Yeah, the, we'll set about you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Smeaton. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pleasure, John Smeaton, everyone. Hello, I believe you're a baggage handler yeah. uh, by day. Yes. Freedom fighter by night. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, have you had a... Has it changed your life entirely? Totally. Yeah. Totally? Yeah, totally. So tell us what happened, because Noel and Russell may be unaware of the whole event. <laughs> I was just out having a smoke, and, uh, You were out having a smoke? Yep. Oh, the irony. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, just... Heard the noise, walked round the corner, seen the jeep crashed into the building, seen the guy come out the burning jeep, went and attacked a policeman, so I just went for him and just tried to kick the guy as hard as I could. <laughs> you said, in a very self deprecating way, you said it's what anyone would have done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it wasn't just myself, there was four years did it, so. You know. <laughs> I can't guarantee under any circumstances that I'd try and beat up someone who was already on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it, 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 we, it was because you were outside having a smoke yeah. that you saw it happen. Yep. Is that that's a victory notched up to the smoking ban then? Yeah, yeah. Because you could have been smoking inside the that's terminal. It. Totally. Yeah, totally. you wouldn't have been there. That's wow, it. you're like Braveheart. <laughs>